Greetings, YouTubers. Uh, sorry for not posting a video yesterday. I, I don't know. Today kind of, or yesterday, got got away from me. I didn't get a lot done. I um, I managed to get uh, the latch installed uh, for the inside of the door. Um, that actually took a little bit of doing. I mean, it's it, in my mind, it's really a kind of a Roop Goldberg job, but. I don't know, I thought it turned out okay, and it's functional, which is uh, the important thing. So, <clears throat> I got that done yesterday, and, and that's about it. Um, and uh, today, you know, I got a little bit of framing done. Um, you know, this is the framing on the other side of the, uh, of the trailer that I've started on today, getting that all laid out. And um, I had a little bit of framing up in front, I think. Um, that was a day before yesterday. Um, and I brought in the uh, luggable loo uh, just to kind of check fit. I wanted to see how things were going to kind of fit up and um, whether or not I was going to have room in there and, and that kind of thing. And contemplating um, doing something a little bit different, moving uh, the toilet off to the, um, uh, the starboard side a little bit. Um, and eliminating those cabinets there, and I'm and I'm kind of um, kind of wrestling with the whole idea of you know giving up the cabinet space in order to have a little more bathroom space. Ultimately, um, Rachel, my daughter, wants to have a um, an inside shower there. So um, if I get rid of that cabinet space and move the the toilet over. Uh, to the starboard side, that gives me a lot more room in there for. Um, I don't. I wouldn't say it's a full size shower, but it gets pretty close. I mean, it's it's roomy enough in there for you to kind of move around and, you know, wash your hair and do that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Um, also, I did some repairs, reinforcement on the uh, the pods. Um, I. Uh, uh, installed a harder wood dowel into the holes that I drilled for what were half inch bolts that held the uh, the sleeping pods up um, and you know half inch bolts were great the problem was is that there was only a quarter of an inch of wood left um, to hold those boats bolts in place um, you know most of the weight is is vertical so the, the, the pods fold up to the side of the trailer and, and all of the weight is down and you know underneath these rails here is um, you know really heavy duty um, hinges and uh, drilled and countersunk and glued uh, lag bolts I mean that that sucker will hold up weight I mean I've been climbing all over it I've been using it as a ladder to get up to the top of the of the uh, trailer and stuff so um, and so the bolts that go up here on the top to hold these up for travel, um, you know, there's, there's not going to be a whole lot of force on them. But there still there wasn't a lot of wood there uh, to hold those pods in place. So I, um, I got some dowel, some hardwood dowel, and, uh, and uh, used uh, some Gorilla Glue, and they were friction fit, so it was a really good fit and uh, glued them very securely into place, let them cure overnight. I did that yesterday as well. So uh, this morning, all of that glue had uh, cured for the most part and uh, got them sawed flush and then re-drilled them for 5 16 bolts. And then I've also um, ordered and received uh, some metal inserts, uh, these guys. So, um, these have, you know, little blades on them that are kind of arranged in a thread pattern with space and I put uh, Gorilla Glue on these and then drove them into the, into the hardwood plugs, um, which I think is going to be plenty strong. There's going to be four on each uh, pod, so there'll be you know, two up at the top if it, if it were folding out this way. There'll be two at the top. So, I think it'll be pretty secure. I think I'll probably get some sort of secondary 
support just in case. I mean, I really don't want those falling out. And um, and I, well, I think the bolts are probably sufficient. Um, a little bit of a backup in case they aren't is uh, probably a good idea. So I'm going to do that. Um, and so I installed all of those inserts today, uh, and you know, re-drilled with the uh, for the smaller diameter bolt, which gives me a lot more wood. It's a harder wood. It's glued in place. Um, I think it's probably going to be a lot stronger, uh, a lot stronger um, re retain retainment. Is that a word? Retainment point. So it is now. I made it up. I can make up words. I'm retired. I can make up words if I want to. Um, so that's done. Uh, let's see. Uh, helped Dad a little bit. He's uh, got a project going out on the uh, front of his house. He's got um, really nice porch out there, and it um, you know overlooks uh, Highway 189 and um, and the forest around him and stuff. And <laughs> I, you probably can hear the traffic noise here. It drives me crazy. No, I, I think it was pretty much crazy before I got here. But I mean, it is something that you know he's gotten used to he's lived up here for 40 plus years i think and um longer than that i think he bought the first cabin up here back in the 60s i want to say anyway i digress um um and i forgot where i was going with all of that traffic noise stuff dang well it's gone now if i remember i'll tell you later um bolts, metal inserts, framing, door latch. I think that's it. I think that's pretty much all I've gotten done today. Oh, I did get a little more uh, support in on, uh, but right now my camera is sitting on the, the other shelving. Uh, the, the planking isn't in yet, but uh, the support structure is, except for the very top. I've got to do that one yet. I'm um, waiting for uh, some more copper lugs uh, man another frustrating experience with Amazon I don't think it's Amazon well they tried to pass it off on on it being Amazon's fault so maybe it is I don't know but at checkout I was told that this stuff would be here by Thursday and I've gotten everything else everything else that I ordered on that order I got another switch I got another fuse uh, my metal inserts. I mean, all of that stuff was here uh, as promised yesterday, except for those lugs. And uh, all I get at, uh, you know, when I check my order is that it's on its way, and I was told that it was going to be here Thursday. You know, I, if it's going to be later than what you promised, then, you know, at least let me know so I have an option to cancel the order and get them somewhere else. Because um, I really wanted to get this wiring done today and get the uh, inverter in and and all of that stuff. Uh, so I, anyway, long story short, I'm waiting for those copper uh, four gauge lugs to get here, crimp on lugs to get here, and they're supposed to be here on um, Monday, Monday, I believe. So, I, I but I emailed the um, uh, the vendor and said. Hey, you know, um, uh, I look. I see everything else is on its way, but your order's not shipped yet. And this was on Tuesday, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, let me know if it's not going to be here on Thursday because I want to cancel the order and go somewhere else because I need these yesterday. And uh, it took two days to get an answer from him, and the answer that I got back was, it's not our fault, talk to Amazon. Pass the buck. You know, I've done customer service, and that, that wasn't it. That's not what customer service looks like. So I'm really frustrated with that vendor. I'm not going to throw names out there. No, I don't think it's Amazon's fault. I think it's this vendor's fault, but I won't order from them again. Um, and, the, you know, if they promise that something's going to be there by Thursday, then, and it's not going to be, then they need to let me know. That's my opinion. Um, I'm better now. All right. Um, I think that's it. Um, any questions? Um, you know, feel free to ask. Um, um, any uh, suggestions about, oh, no, don't do it that way. Uh, be sure to tell me. Um, you know, uh, 
if you really want to follow this to the end of the story, I'm going to carry this through, man. Uh, you know, I'm going to record every little bit that I do to this trailer, and um, I, it hasn't been real instructional, I don't think. I've just been kind of showing you my progress, and here's what I've gotten done. Um, would you like to see them a little more detailed in terms of I bought this size screw, and I used this kind, of, and I turned it this far, and I blah, 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 blah. I can do that. Um, but I don't know. To me, it seems like overkill. I mean, you're, you guys are smart. You can figure stuff out. I, I take pictures and close-ups and stuff. I think if you kind of see that stuff, you should be able to get the idea and, and know what's going on. But if you know, by uh, by some chance I'm incorrect in that assumption, so by all means, let me know, and I'll get a little more detailed about. Okay, this is what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I'm doing it. These are the parts, and and um, and I'll give you all that. Um, and I'm going to carry this through um, until I finish the trailer, and then when we get out on the road, uh, the places that I visit, the places that I'm going to choose to go to and visit, and why. Um, the hot springs are really high on my list. There's some up the uh, eastern Sierras uh, that seem to be pretty accessible. I've heard mixed reviews, like some of them are kind of party places. I, I really don't want to, um, you know, participate in that kind of stuff, but. Um, you know, some of them, if they're kind of off the trodden path, and I can get some privacy and, you know, just enjoy a, a little bit of time in the wilderness and in a natural hot spring. I mean, that would be just like icing on the cake. So, um, so I'll tell you where I'm going, why I'm going. Um, you know, uh, all of our struggles and all of our victories and uh, all of the things in between. So, um, if you want to follow that, then um, you know, be sure to uh, subscribe and um, and stay tuned. You know, wouldn't, wouldn't want you to miss an episode. <laughs> okay, so, 12-minute <laughs> roll. I, I can't believe that this camera will only record 12 minutes with the video. I mean, I've got all kinds of card space left. But anyway. Uh, all right, so um, that's my spiel for today. The update. Um, and I, I don't think I've got anything else for you, so I'm going to hit the sack early and get up early and keep banging away at this thing and and to get her done. And um, my next steps are uh, getting the thing registered. I don't think I'm I don't think I'm going to make Coeur d'Alene by the 20th. So I'm looking at getting it registered here in California. Um, so I, I may head down the hill hill next week and um, pop into a DMV with all my paperwork and say, hey. Uh, and that way I can at least push that off of my list and and, uh, and not have to think about that anymore. So, all right, you guys. Uh, bless you. Till next time. Later. <laughs>